Hey, my name is Joe, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Superdemo. We're super excited to showcase a brand new feature on Superdemo called In-App Demo Hubs. Demo Hubs centralize your interactive demos and let your users search and interact with them on demand live inside of your app or website. Demo Hubs can be triggered through a customizable widget or by tying it to any custom element or action inside of your app, like clicking a tooltip or a button. You can create one or many demo hubs, showing different variations based on pages, product lines, use cases, user conditions, and more. Popular use cases for demo hubs include quick start guides or onboarding checklists, spotlighting newly shipped features or a quarterly release, role-based workflow tutorials, or even self-serve demos and tutorials that address your most commonly asked questions to mitigate support tickets. Basically, demo hubs serve as centralized, organized, and self-serve locations inside of your app to learn workflows, discover features, or receive just-in-time help without leaving their flow. Now, you might be wondering, how are demo hubs different from traditional in-app product tours? Well, while traditional in-app tours have proven to be popular, there are some key problems with them. First, tours often interrupt flow and get skipped, more than 70% of the time, in fact. They often pop up when the user doesn't need them, and they disappear forever when you do need them. Second, they're brittle. They're high-maintenance flows that often break when your product changes especially elements. And since they're, since they're difficult to set up, they're often high-level tours and flows that are not granular or specific workflows or instructions that your users are looking for. And lastly, you're limited to a very small handful of tours because they can be expensive. Usage-based pricing typically penalizes you as your product grows or you get more views or more users. And this is how demo hubs solve these issues directly. First, demo hubs contain searchable, user-actioned micro demos that are more relevant and specific to the, what the user is actually looking for. These tours appear at the user's moment of need, not when you think they want to see your tour. Second, anyone from your team can add, remove, chain, and reorganize demos in your in-app hub without any design skills or technical know-how or changing code. Creating demos takes seconds and your demos never break. And lastly, demo hubs allow you to scale with predictable all-in pricing with no surcharges as you grow your demos or views so you can create all kinds of high-level or granular tours that your users will actually use. Now, you're probably wondering how hard are these to set up? Well, creating one will only take you two to three minutes and we'll walk through how to do that right below. All right, in this tutorial, we'll walk through an example demo hub creation and installation process together. Super simple, it'll only take a few minutes. So you just wanna to navigate to the demo hub page directly on Superdemo. And uh, you can obviously create a demo hub by giving it a name and setting the design. Or you can, if you have one created already, obviously you can duplicate it as well. So I have a pre-filled uh, widget right here that I'm gonna click just to show you and for the interest of time. You'll notice that uh, it will actually fill in and take in branding data from your workspace to make it super, super simple. But what you can do from the appearance tab is go through and choose either a descriptive title or a logo. Scrolling below, you can reposition the logo. You can set your style, like choosing this gradient or choosing the solid style. Changing the text color, as well as setting a light or dark theme, like so. And down below, you can see you can provision different custom links, um, like changing the label here to get help and adding as many different links as you would like that users will now be able to interact with. Great, so super simple. Um, to set the design. Now, moving on to the content piece. Um, again, very simple. Um, you'll see there are three categories created right here, but you can create as many as you would like just by clicking add new category and giving this a name. So maybe achievements 
and goals. And if you want to go in and add super demos or multiple uh, showcases onto each of the sections, all you have to do is click add content, search for what you would need. Maybe I want to add, uh, you know, the feature showcase as well as the app tour right here. You can, so you can see that I can do so. You'll notice in this case, there are, uh, you know, uh, maybe I don't want this display image or I want to change the text right here. Um, I can actually go in and change the display name and call this showcase collection, for example. And I can go in and change the thumbnail to be whatever I want as well. So maybe I want to use this one right here. Super simple. Um, and you can always rearrange the order of these at any point and say you need to update a demo. Again, you can go in and view the demo, make some changes on the fly, super, super simple. And that's going to propagate real time ASAP as soon as you make the change. Cool, very simple. Um, now getting into the installation side of things, very simple. Uh, there are two different ways to launch the demo hub. One is a very simple launcher, a persistent launcher that you can add on the bottom right or the bottom left of your app. And uh, you get to go in and choose whatever image you would like to um, display on uh, the widget itself. So going down below, if I want to install this kind of floating persistent launcher, I'm going to go ahead and, and um, copy and install the SDK. So I'm going to go in here, go into our app.tsx, uh, and uh, right here, I'm going to paste in superdemo.js as um, our script. So super simple. And since we're using React, I'm going to initialize the demo hub on the page or on the app that I want to show this. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this use effect, uh, ignoring this closed widget, uh, which is optional. And I can easily paste it onto my dashboard. And what that's going to do is it's going to add this on the bottom right of my dashboard and make it possible for me or users to trigger it at any point inside of the app. And down below, you'll see you can also customize and restrict uh, which pages this widget shows up on. So perhaps you don't want to show it in the initial onboarding pages, or if you're using this on your website, maybe you don't want to show it on the pricing page. Uh, you can restrict things just by um, adding in different URLs down here in the info. Now, instead of a widget, maybe you want to add a custom trigger. So you maybe have a button already that you show um, during the onboarding process, or maybe you show it under a tooltip under the menu bar, and you want to use the custom trigger, a custom button to showcase your demo hub. Uh, this is almost exactly the same. You copy the SDK again, add it to your application. Um, and here, instead of adding use effect, I'm just going to copy this entire on click um, segment code snippet right here. And I'm going to attach it to the button right here, training guide that I want to use as the trigger to showcase the demo hub. So again, I'm going to go back here. Let's remove this use effect. And down here, it was called training guide as an example down here on the 63rd line. Whoops. I'm going to paste in this on click super demo widget and it's going to be the widget ID. So now if I go back into this example dashboard, you'll see that when a user clicks this training guide, they'll be able to click through the different pages and different tabs and uh, demos showcases available. And they're going to be able to click into this mobile, tro uh, mobile tour, for example, and step through all of the different pages or steps that they want to learn about. And obviously, this is all searchable as well. So hopefully that gave you a pretty good idea of how demo hubs work, how easy they are to kind of create, customize, brand, and add to your app. And as always, if you have any questions or have feedback on what you'd like to see next, we'd love to hear from you.